Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us and IndieWrestling.network for your independent wrestling entertainment. Just Pro Wrestling News Podcast. No filler, no pop-ups. Production services by Sidekick Media Services. And listeners like you, supporting us at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Oh, did you hear that? I did. did. Was that important? Did that seem important? That seemed fantastic, but we're live. We are live. We are live. It is a very Zoom edition of the Monday Mayhem Warriors. I'm Mike Sorg. That's Sorg on the Twitter here in... Where where are we again? Ann Arbor. We're I'm in Ann Arbor, Am Ann Arbor, Michigan, in a hotel room. Um, I mean, and there's no clues on my video about what I'm doing here. Um, but uh, <laughs> I I, uh, I I don't I I've been I was in Florida like basically this morning, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I set up a streaming event today. That was very. Um, I don't want to say taxing. Everybody's wonderful, um, but technology is going to do what technology wants. Technology's heart is going to do what its heart wants. So um, that's that. That's all I'm going to say about my day. <laughs> so, but Sorg, everything... Sorg, did you win the day? I think, despite all the obstacles you faced, did you the, win the day? Despite all the obstacles I faced, and a couple other things that happened post work. And I do have my wife with me on the trip. So it's not just a solo. Well, we also have cameraman Rob. And we also have a new videographer amongst our crew. That sounds so like a cramped room. He is the, he is the replacement Matt, but he, no, no, no. no we Someone's got a on the fold out, that's for sure. Oh, we, oh, you got a second we, room. We okay. do have a budget for a second room, thank you. I was going to I don't this know. This isn't those indie wrestling trips, Mike. So <laughs> I don't, so. So there's, there's definitely definitely a lot going on there. So of course my video is fuzzy because I'm just on my, all the good equipment is on the gigabit bus. <laughs> so we'll bring some of it hopefully. I do have a 4K camera sitting over here, but I didn't know I didn't have anything to sit it on. To I mean other than like maybe I could have propped it on the coffee maker and we could have done it this way. But mm. I mean again I'm on hotel Wi-Fi. Who's that going to benefit? Let's, so, let's not overwork the hotel let's Wi-Fi. Not, let's yeah, not no, it's, it it's fine. It's fine. I, I don't There are even, other people in that hotel with more important things to do on that Wi-Fi. There's a lot of right porn now. happening in this hotel. I mean, let's be honest about it. We all know what, what happens. Here. I mean, if you just want to say it out loud, then just say it out loud. But, mm-hmm. you know, I yeah, like I mean, being a little listen, subtle, we're not going to be, okay. we're not gonna read around, beat around the bush here. That's actually what they're watching. And that was a softball. So anyways... <laughs> Everybody else looks exactly the same, except we have a different logo in the corner over. I don't know mm-hmm. where. I, I shared it to the group, so hopefully people will be dropping in the chat. Well, it's going to look Facebook. Anybody's going to be just like we always do. We just don't have the ha- fa- fancy music beforehand. And the podcast won't even know other than I don't. Yeah. I don't know. I'm sure I sound different. I don't know what's going on here. No, you sound uh, fine. So either way, so I, I, I got in. Um, I don't know. I probably got in around 830. I had a very important businessy business call to do that mm-hmm. was about professional wrestling um, and other things are happening. And so I did not get to watch wrestling tonight. And okay. we're going to keep this relatively short for my own well-being at this point because I'm on three hours of sleep and I got another early morning tomorrow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, I got, and I have this and another podcast edit. Sorg, um, one thing you should do before you go to sleep tonight. Yes. You should watch the segment between Shayna Baszler and Alexa Bliss. Can I get a playlist? Can 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 I want can 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 the chat room work with me here? And can I get a playlist of things I should watch before bed? Well I, I especially want you to watch that because with your sleep deprived brain, I want to see how you process it. <laughs> <laughs> because um I'm working on a solid six and a half seven hours of sleep from last night Mm -hmm. and a relatively stress-free day Mm -hmm. and i still have no idea what the fuck i saw okay i i was i was left disappointed i was hoping for more uh combustion 
<laughs> and uh, I was I was left wanting and disappointed. Um, really? I mean, you're you're putting okay. Lily and Shayna in the main event. I expect a body count. I did not get one. Well, so mm, I don't know where to go right. with this, Mad Mike. All right, all right. I think I know what they're doing. I think now that um, Taya has been signed by WWE. She has transferred rights of her Lucha Underground storyline oh, no. to Shayna Baszler. No, Matt, I, I see you shaking your head. Mm-mm. I think we are going to come to find that Shayna is being possessed by Lily. So she would just become Lily. Shayna Baszler, <laughs> the MMA legit badass. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Is going to become possessed by a creepy doll. I'm okay with it. Is mm. this is this a Jonathan Colton song? <laughs> it might be. It very might. Very well might be. Uh oh. Okay, so it blinked. I'm like, did we lose him on the hotel Wi-Fi? <laughs> no, no, no. This is me just pausing. I don't know what. I don't know what. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know what either. Uh, like, Mad Mike, no. what do you think? There's anything else of note on this show? <laughs> Ooh, um, do you? Feel I so mean, good? Drew oh. did chop a table in half with a giant sword. That happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little bit overshadowed by the rest <laughs> of the events of the day. You no, know, I was mm-hmm. considering starting to watch Vikings on Netflix, but now I'm not really interested anymore. Yeah. Huh. Um. Let's see. Uh, what else? Uh, the the Viking Raiders are going up against AJ and Omos, so you know, good yeah. for friend of the show. Good friend of the uh, show, Ray Rowe. Yeah, and if One he wins closer to the uh to those raw tag titles, Mad Mike. If he wins mm-hmm. those belts, I'm gonna have to find me a tag partner mm-hmm. to go up against him and him. Hey, who would be? I'll be your tag partner, ah. and we can be tag partners who don't get along. Now, Matt, Matt. I don't know if that storyline would work in wrestling today. I mean, I'm not saying it works. I'm just (laughs) saying I think they'd go for it. Mm. Potentially. Mm. But only if we're a tag team that lasts mm, six to eight weeks. Yeah. (laughs) Six to eight weeks. That's about the lifespan. I'm not entirely sure what tag team we're talking about anymore. Rhea Ripley and Charlotte Flair were, wait for it, forced to tag team together mm-hmm. against Nikki Cross and Asuka. Now, mm-hmm. if they didn't do this every single month, mm-hmm. I would be sitting here saying that was that was a, that was pretty all right. That was that was kind of a fun little uh, skirmish they had there. But they do it all the time. So you kind of go in with yeah. kind of not feeling it. Uh but in ex- in a vacuum, if you could create a vacuum around this one match, mm-hmm. I think you'd say it was pretty all right. It helps that Nikki Cross is delightful. Well, yes, but um, we we have a, we have an ongoing issue with Nikki Cross, and that is her proclivity to remove her top every time she wins a match on Raw. <laughs> now I was hoping this was an isolated incident, Sorg. Now I think they're doing it for YouTube hits. Um, no, Matt, Matt, Nikki, Nikki's Nikki's been doing this for a while. She did this when she was on SmackDown, going for the SmackDown Women's Sale against Bailey. Sorg. Yes. And her and I will say Wait, her nick, her nickname Dragon on up up down down is naughty Nikki Nickers um destroys Uranus and other planets. Okay, Wait, that's the whole so, I mean it, that's the whole name. That's her whole nickname. I mean, if everyone's okay with this, I I mean I'm not the one to complain. I'm never I mean, I'm never I'm happy. this charge down there. Uh, you know, we'll we'll just keep doing strip Nikki. You know, every Monday, Matt, Matt, it's hot girl summer. Get those YouTube hits up, Matt. It's hot girl. You know summer. it's in the title every time. Hot it's girl summer. It's all good. Hey, it's okay. You're down with it. I'm down with it. I'm not gonna get in the way of this. So uh, it's okay. Yeah, it's I'm fine. just gonna sit here respectfully watching Raw, enjoying it. So and we'll and we'll move on. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything really of note. Um, Jackson Riker guy haircut. So. <gasps> He looks Hopefully. like Matt Cardona now. Yeah, yeah. Rest in peace. Oh, he's definitely getting like a. Yeah, probably. 
Um, that's a that's a fuck you haircut. Mm-hmm. Well, it also might I, be a. I haven't even it looked also at might it. Be a, I'm a veteran. And I have PTSD, so I'm shaving my head bald again. Haircut. Oh jeez. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I hope he gets let go. I I really I really hope he does. I mean, it could happen tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I mean, the way things normally go. So I mean, it's mm-hmm. not. I, I like that we can hold on to hope. And speaking of shaving their head, DP in the chat room hey, says, oh, says if she is happy, I'm happy for Crazy Nikki. There you go. DP, DP recently shaved his head. Yes, he did. Yeah. Yes, he did. I think he misjudged the uh, clipper settings, but probably. I'm, I'm the opposite. <laughs> I'm the opposite. I am in the middle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Um, All right. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there was anything else from Raw. No. I don't know. I'm talking about we're talking about haircuts, and it might be the sleep dep- sleep deprivation. But I just want to take a moment to appreciate uh, uh, mainstream Matt's uh, consistent uh, hair foliage going on there. Or no, no, yeah. no, I'm talking about the facial hair. I'm talking oh, about the beard. This? Yeah, yeah so I I'm, forgot to shave I'm, this morning, and it grew in like this. So it's wait, a, that was this morning. Yeah. What <laughs> I. I am jealous of your 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 consistent fullness of a full beard. It's getting humid around here in Pittsburgh, Sorg. This is yes, not going to last much longer. Yes, it is. Yeah. If but, I could, uh, oh, hey, if I couldn't pull my if my if my hair wasn't pon- ponytailable at this point, it would be gone. Yeah. So, so I mean, as I always say, I mean, if I can, if you when you can grow a beard like this, you mm-hmm. owe it to everyone else. To grow the beard at least yes. every once in a while yes so i do it i do it for all of you do it for all the children be like yeah do it for all the children that can't that yeah. can't uh grow beards all right yeah, let's okay let's uh move on before yes. something mm-hmm. else happens um quick lego update yes please quick i need lego. this um, i need this mike sorg look what i've Ooh. done so far there it is yeah daily bugle Tell the people, um, tell the people on audio what's it's, happening. It's the Daily Bugle where Spider Man works. Yes, um, it's it's like it's it's like a startup story, where yeah. you start with on the ground floor in the mm-hmm. mailroom and mm-hmm. you work your way up. Yeah, pretty much. Um, it it's a very fun build. Um, this part of the wall gets destroyed, mm. so you can have super villains, you know, kind of enter into it. My um, understanding is this, that once completed, this will be the tallest Lego building set ever uh, uh, sold to customers, or is that... I, uh, I believe so. Okay. Um, um, wow. And one other little thing I've noticed, you see this little web on the back? This little web right here? Mm-hmm. It's Spider-Man hiding his backpack. Hmm. So that he can go to him from school. Nice. And it's lovely. But yeah. So uh, making good progress. Making my way downtown as the kids said in, you know, 2002. Okay. Nice. You know, walking fast. Faces pass and I'm homebound. You know, it's fine. All right. <laughs> good. Oh, and I, and I built a taxi. Nice. But um, it also comes with a whole shit ton of minifigures. The Sandman minifigure is exceptionally cool because he comes with a giant, like, sandy structure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's a little update. You're flying around. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, uh, what else, Sark? What? What else? Why are you asking me? I don't know. So let's mention this since we're on the WWE do I want, track. Do right I want now. to tell you about my night? I saw a video of Frank the Clown landing a helicopter in a uh, at a wrestling show, <laughs> which was the which was the one that I couldn't film this weekend. So that was a oh you did what now? You're like oh you know they'll have a wrestling show it'll be great and you're just like they landed a helicopter. You know what I haven't filmed in all of my years? A helicopter. A clown landing in a helicopter. <laughs> no 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 several clowns from the images that i saw hmm. so um shout out the warrior wrestling because you guys wild you do it different in chicago and i can't wait to come back in july uh meanwhile do you want to hear about my wrestling adventures oh yes of course. oh yes wow we're at it 
Absolutely. I do not want to speak ill. <laughs> but I did attend something called WXW Wrestling. Now, I have concerns. Mm-hmm. First of all, right out of the gate, our announcer fellow is talking all about our, you know, like he took a poll of like, how, who are, where are you following us on social media? And it's like, dude, I found, I bought tickets on your website that didn't even have pictures of your wrestlers. Okay. Oh boy. And it's, and it's like, you know, false on Twitter and stuff. And I'm just like, dude, I can't find your Twitter. Cause I find two other promotions with the same name. Here's the problem and the good thing, but also the problem. Apparently, WXW is run by, I think it's AFA that runs the school. It's a Wild Samoan training. Okay. And it was clarified to me because I'm like, wait, isn't there a WXW in Pennsylvania that also has a Wild Samoan training event? That is SAMU that runs that. SAMU, who you've had an opportunity to see over at RWA. Matt, I don't remember if you were on that show. It was one where a referee got killed through a table. Mm-mm. It was excitement. Mm-hmm. Um <laughs> Thank you, Bilbo. Um, but um, wrestling happened. I knew nobody going into this. I had no inkling of anybody going into this. And the only thing I can say out of it, and I don't know if it's a booking, I don't know if it's a guys, I don't know what it is. But I can't remember the last time I went in the show knowing nothing about it and still left the show know nothing about it. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, I watched, uh, and, and, and I don't know, it, like, I... I could be because I'm tired and I, I pushed myself to go to this wrestling show and I, st- I stood out in the sun a lot on whatever day that was. I mean, I got, um, yeah, I'm very, I'm very, yes, very um, sun, sun baked right now. So, sorry, did you watch the Road to the Wild Simone's Cup tag team tournament? I don't think it was the, I mean, I think there were matches in the tournament. Okay. I, there was a British rounds match. Oh, okay. Where it seemed like the rounds were just simply whenever was the most inconvenient time to ring the bell. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Like, you know, you know, they just, it just, that was it. And for six rounds and then nothing. And then your main event was a double, uh, is a, you know, referee knockout second round. One counts the pin, the other one sees the tap thing, which, didn't they just do this somewhere? Um, uh, and 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 that was the end of the show, and the title became vacant. Was the solution? And I was like, okay. Oh, so so you saw vacant get a new championship? Um, I also really would love to not go see an indie show this month. Another one that wasn't um, strangely racist. Well, you were in Florida. Uh, yeah, it didn't. I don't want to get into it, but there was a promo from an unexpected source, and it got weird. And I was just like, "Are we allowed to say that here?" You know, that that kind of thing. So um, that was like second match, and I was just like, "Okay," and then maybe it just turned me off from the rest of it because I'm like, "What are we doing here?" So, but that's that was my impression. It was a first impression, and that was my impression for better or for worse. So also my first Andy show in Florida, because both times I've been there, I've been able to see an uh, NXT house show or uh, down there in Full Sail. You so. closed down Full Sail. Let's... I cl- I did close down Full Sail. I turned the lights out on the my, my way out of <laughs> Full Sail NXT, apparently. Mm-hmm. So tell me about AEW. Oh, uh, oh wow. Dark Elevation oh, yeah. tonight, Sorgi. Oh, no, no. Your boy was on again. Danny What's... Limelight. No. Let's talk the about the show. Danny Have Limelight. A, Not a, a weird talking. Fine ass match against Evil Uno. So uh, <gasps> Evil yeah, Uno. Definitely. Oh, that's Evil that's Uno's a good stuff. that's a good lineup right there. Vintage that's Danny. Mike, you, Mike, you gotta put that on your GM. Can, um, can, you're gonna have to get can, that on your uh, can, get that on we, your playlist, Mad can Mike. We, can, so we can we talk about that. the good show? The good show. There was another. Dynamite. That was like days ago. It was like Friday. Elevation was tonight. Yeah. What do you want to say? Say something nice about uh, Dynamite on Friday. Fucking Andrade. No. Oh. With Vicky Guerrero. Oh yeah, that's a guy. That is awesome. Wait, yeah. Wait, you don't hate that? I thought no. you hate that. No. 
I'm no, with I, you. No, no, I think that's perfect. I'm with you. I, I think that's I perfect it. because Andrade is good on the mic. Yeah. Not great. Yeah. Not great. Vicky needed something because her and Nyla falls completely flat because Nyla doesn't oh, need a mouth. No, wait, Nyla, wait, 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 wait. because Nyla doesn't need a mouthpiece and Vicky doesn't. That's enhance. not the problem. That's not the problem I'm about the point. Vicky out. doesn't enhance Nyla. I, I just, I just don't like the statement that Vicky, you know, needs Vicky hasn't something. had direction. She hasn't Vicky, had direction. Vicky doesn't need. Vicky is Vicky. She's Vicky. not there for direction. She's there to help. You know, to, help to prop what? people up. exactly. In short, her being her being with Andrade is way better than her being with Nyla. Uh, yeah, Matt, help me out. I, no, you, you know what? I I, I don't hate it. Uh, I, you know, I I, I think I, uh, Andrade. Do, 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 I mean, do, Andrade has always needed, um, has always been at his best when he's had a good mouthpiece mm-hmm. uh, by his mm-hmm. side. That's proven. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. With Selena, well, apparently we Selena. can't get Selena right now. Uh, so I, I think Vicky. she might be waiting. What's the maybe. next? What's the next big thing for Selena? For I'm um, for Andrade. Wait, no, I lost my train of thought. I need sleep. I'm sorry. Also, did you like uh, how... the interesting? Go ahead. The, the the part where it gets interesting here is now you've got Andrade, um, attached to AEW. Andrade and Omega already mm-hmm. set for a triple A mega championship match. Yeah. And now, now we have to yeah. figure out how we're gonna make this work. Cause if yeah, get the board Andrade back. beats Omega and takes that belt, there has got to be some sense of obligation then to have Andrade challenge Omega for the AEW belt. Mm-hmm. That is what they do. Maybe they just trade wins and it's like you beat me for the belt, I'll beat you to retain. The AEW belt. I don't know. How and then do. Andrade has to challenge Omega for the Impact World Title. You're and thinking then a good old fashioned for the pop? TNA Championship. Mm-hmm. Andrade as the TNA Champion. That's that's. Oh my god! Like, that I didn't have that on my bingo card for. So <laughs> we have a TNA Impact Plus show and NXT this weekend. Yeah. 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 In your house. There's definitely two shows this weekend. Yes. In your house was this weekend, definitely. Yes, and I think I'm going to go to two indie shows in the area. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to watch In Your House live because it is Father's Day. So that is a sticky wicket that they normally don't do. Well, as uh, we like to say around here, there's own, uh, to paraphrase what we say around here, there's only so many Sundays in a month. Mm-hmm. And... Yeah, I got nothing else. Excellent. Anything else that's not Danny Limelight related from Elevation before the last thing? Um, Hikaru Shida got a haircut. <laughs> um, I I just call it like I see it. Okay. Uh, and okay. It looks like is is, is that going to be on the news show tonight? <laughs> is that going to be? Is this going to be on the test? Please. And finally, from AEW Elevation. Okay. Sheeta got a haircut. The problem with that is if I say Sheeta got a haircut, then I have to also mention that Riker got a haircut. And I don't want to talk about Riker Mm. unless I have to. So I'm probably just going to let it slide and let people find out on their own, like a little surprise the next time they see Sheeta. Um, It looks like uh, Santana and Ortiz uh, were on elevation. And that's uh, whenever you see someone of their standing on one of the dark shows, it usually means it might be time to start stacking wins. So perhaps they are uh, about to um, uh, get pushed up the uh, tag team rankings. Good. I um, hope so, because so, uh, they, we'll the fact that they there. haven't had the titles. So we'll see if they just detour directly around FTR and just go Man. straight up to the box. Um, Man, seeing them, seeing, seeing the heel face swap between like Bucks and, and uh, Tito and Ortiz, I think could be fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like compared um, to, because, they, because they've done this before. And... Um, if I recall, so they have they have had uh, matches in AEW, uh, pretty good ones too, if I recall correctly. Uh, yeah, but that was basically it for uh, Dark. Um, you know, the usual, generally good stuff. Uh, about an hour and fifteen, nice length. Nice. So good on them. So, the last thing was the announcement this weekend. 
Yes, SummerSlam is going to be in Las Vegas. At not at Caesar's Palace, <laughs> but at Allegiant Stadium, the Death Star, the home of the Raiders, a 72,000 seat Colossus. It's going to be the largest venue to host the SummerSlam since Wembley. Wembley, 1992. Very good. I knew you guys would know that one. So uh, they need to fill this. But they got to come up with some bangers. It's, it's also the first time uh, SummerSlam has been hosted in a football stadium. Mm-hmm. American Depends football. What kind of football Amer- you're American about. football. Eh, excuse me. Um, American football. Excuse me. In NFL stadium. Yeah. So they are going to need some bangers to fill uh, up this stadium, Sorgi. Update: Father's Day is next weekend, not this weekend. Oh, that's good. I know somebody that had an early Father's oh, Day. Oh, why did I? Th- just there, not the other I one. Think- somebody else just told me about how they took their father to dinner early thinking they were gone on trip and they're like oh no that's next weekend so yeah so there's that oh did they change the date because i swear to god i thought it was on father's yes we've transferred fathers they got postponed due to covid Uh, i can tell Um, you i can tell you one thing i guarantee matt (laughs) what's that i will not watch SummerSlam. no why you got other plans well, yeah, I have, I'm book. I'm actually booked for Warrior Wrestling, and if they move it, I'm going to the damn gathering of jugglers. They so. had the gall to uh, schedule this thing on a Saturday night. Yeah, and all the indie shows are like, what the hell? Yeah, um, I'm and, really, and I'm I, really I, curious what it's going to do. And I would uh, bet my bottom dollar that Sunday night you're going to have a takeover as well. We'll see. I guess because yeah. you, you can't do because you can't do Friday because Friday is SmackDown territory. Uh, I, 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 there's something else to this we don't know, right? Like there's there's another foot that's going to drop on this uh, with this announcement, right? No, I, I think it's. I, just, I just don't know if it makes sense to no, follow SummerSlam with a takeover the following night. That seems like uh, well, that's no, backwards. no, but that, but I think it's just Vegas. I think Ve- if you have an event in Vegas. Saturday night is the night because Sunday everyone's was it just gone. I had to like I, I, I legit I, think that's it. I got two I got two questions. First of all, um is this something scheduling with the stadium generally? And two, in my August twenty first is football and preseason. Uh well, I mean there's nothing it wouldn't yet. matter. They wouldn't there's be no at conflict that stadium. regarding the football. Yeah. Um, but there is a Manny Pacquiao fight that very same night. Um, but fortunately, the boxing, uh, hey, he's a draw. Um, and fortunately, uh, apparently the fights out in Vegas don't start until like 11 o'clock at night. So uh, apparently if they can get SummerSlam done at 11 o'clock, you could go to SummerSlam. Oh, so they're capitalizing on the fact that people are going to be in town for Manny. Yeah, but I don't think Manny's doing a 72,000 seat <laughs> stadium either. But you know what? I, I we'll, we'll see what they can pull. They're going to have. They're gonna they're gonna load up this show, but I, no, but I, I legit think it's just because it's Vegas. If you're in Vegas, yeah. you have your event on Saturday night. That's when the fight nights are. Uh, that makes perfect sense to me. I mean, if that's the because, dynamic of uh, Vegas, then it makes sense. Yeah, because I mean, you don't have to have takeover in Vegas. You can have takeover at the Capital Wrestling Center. You know what I mean? Then you still got mm-hmm. the weekend. Because there's always been a takeover. Like SummerSlam weekend. Granted, it's usually Brooklyn, but I doubt they're going to Brooklyn because no. if you look on those live event dates, not not any Northeast shows. The closest be lo- is Pittsburgh. They'll be lucky to be back out on the coconut loop by then, Mike. They're uh, yeah. I, I I I we'll we'll see if they uh we'll see if they do a takeover that weekend. I I have my doubts. Um, but hey, I thought it would be fun. Uh, as an idea for us, uh, as something fun to do on tomorrow night's Mayhem show. Ooh. Since WWE has to really come up with something big to fill up, up Allegiant Stadium, 72,000 seat Allegiant Stadium, mm-hmm. Sorg, I think it would be great fun for us to do a special one week only edition of Mayhem Mania in which everyone gets to book one match, one shot, one kill, one try, no redos. No fellas coming up behind you the next week. You get to make one match, and we've got to figure out how we're going to stack this card and fill this goddamn stadium 
for WWE. So we'll Mayhem see that Summer night. Fest. <laughs> Mayhem Mania Fest. Mayhem Summer, summer Fest. Yeah, we'll like work on the name. I don't know what we'll do. But anyway, we need uh, eight people. Just, just so if my... you hear us, DP, I see you. DP, you're in. Yeah, DP's um, in. Listen, man. And uh, Tina is not in the chat room because she might be confused because of where we are. But I assume Tina is in. We'll find all the all stars. We'll get yes. them together. Well, we're, and we'll um, see what we can. We'll see what we can conjure well, up. We'll see if boy. we can book. We'll we'll see how well we, it, this is gonna be a little bit different from the normal Booker Mania. Slam. Mania. This is just gonna be us trying to like just c- consolidate and condense all, all of our fantasy booking powers into one solid strike of eight matches and be like. And just basically make the list, send it to Vince, and be like, these are the matches you should do. You want to fill the stadium, Mm -hmm. or you want to be embarrassed in front of the entire free world? Absolutely. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. There you go. Um, That's that's tomorrow night. Tuesday night, I should say. Yes. I like it. And DP is asking if we're going back to five-hour pay-per-views. It's very possible. I mean, if they start at seven, I feel like they're going. I feel like they got a hard out for eleven with that boxing. No, not so, necessarily because Pacquiao, Pacquiao, it ain't like Pacquiao's going on at 11. Pacquiao's well, that's the on, point, too. Pacquiao's going on at 1 a.m., so you can show up late for that fight. There's a little wiggle room there, I guess. There you go. Um, if you care about the undercard on a boxing match, boy, do I have a Logan Paul match for you. Mm. Uh, boy, have I got a wrestling undercard for you to watch. <laughs> I can come up <laughs> with one of those for you to see, too. Sorry. Right. Yes, I'm like... Um, I got two more things I want to mention. Okay. Shingo Takagi won the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship no. this morning. He beat Shingo Okada. Shingo beat Okada. All right, to win the vacant championship. Which, wow. Oh, I wish I had which, any energy to watch these. It, it, it was a very good match, enhanced by the fact that me and no one else thought that Shingo was going to win. So a huge booking surprise from New Japan, which we don't get very often. Is this just because he's going to lose to Kenny Omega? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, no one's going to Japan right now. So, well, uh, Japan and- can come to us. <laughs> They're going to send him over here to lose the belt. Uh, Could you imagine? Could oh, you what a mess. Imagine. Just send him over there to job it out. We'll see. Uh, and uh, did you see what happened at the GCW show over the weekend? Oh, oh, Nick Gage. oh boy, did I. That was one of the finest bait and switches of. I've seen it in a long time. <laughs> and oh, but tell, the, for, for, for those, for those yeah. of you who didn't see it, Nick Zach Gage, Ryder's lost his fucking mind. You know, he has a death wish, and I am here for it. Um, he, Nick he, Gage, he realized he really doesn't want to marry Chelsea. So he's trying to get <laughs> out of it thought. any way he can. <laughs> Why is everyone having major life events going he, to have a match with Nick Gage? He, I don't understand. He, either that. <laughs> Or he's trying to get so injured that he can cut every line at Disney. Maybe that. I mean that. Now that is the kind of four-dimensional chess I believe Zach Ryder would be playing. <laughs> anyway, uh, for those of you who didn't see it, Nick Gage won his match at the GCW show over the weekend. A masked man entered the ring, did like his waggy arm thing. So he bears he's possibly passing resemblance to John Moxley, and you're thinking mm-hmm. this might be John Moxley. He grabs Nick Gage. He does a reasonably okay double arm ddt it was fine it like, was fine this might be john moxley it was the paradigm shuffle it was it was, it was the paradigm sort of and um <laughs> he stands up and the crowd is like this might be moxley and he takes off his mask and it's matt cardona and he drops a and, litany of f-bombs on his way out of the room i will say everybody no hey, i will matt. no matt he doesn't just flip off everyone he does the most Long Island thing oh, yeah, I've yeah. ever seen. Yeah, that was no, really funny. He did this to the crowd the entire time. So the is... L and the middle finger for Long Island. Wow. And it's the it's the most accurate Long Island thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, I just I just <laughs> want to say this is exciting because uh Cardona has been kind of playing it safe ever since he left WWE. Uh he's been, yeah. he's been doing all right. His impact stuff has been all right. Uh, yeah, it's fine. He's feuding exciting. with his buddy. I mean, you now, know. now he's in the danger zone, the <laughs> creative and physical danger zone. So I'm excited now to see um, what he does. Okay, this is related. This past week, I watched the David Arquette documentary on Hulu. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, 
<laughs> Not the thing I wanted to see right before <laughs> Matt Cardona goes after Nick Gage. Because now I've seen some Nick Gage. <laughs> oh yeah. It's not going to be good. It's going to be it's going to be a Long Island Bloody Mary. That's what's going to happen. Every Nick Gage story is Nick Gage got carried away. That's how it all gets. <laughs> that's that's the start of all of it. Well, I, well, Nick Gage got carried away with an asterisk, but he's a really nice guy backstage. He's a great yeah. guy, but he he's got bringing, carried away. He's bringing everybody water. I, I, I tell you, I've seen two Nick Gage matches, and he just generally scares the crap out of me just seeing him. Mm-hmm. And um, and uh, he did not offer me water. Uh, but uh, they were not blood fests. So, hmm. Hmm. so I, I lucked out. By the so way, have, have, you guys, for that. have you guys seen the David Arquette documentary? Yes. No. It's on Hulu, Ooh. I Matt, believe. Matt, it's on Hulu. It's an hour and a half. High recommend. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll see if I can All find right. it. Uh, yeah. All right, so not, not, not for the kids. <laughs> no. I'm, well, I'm not letting my kids watch anything anymore. I, we need to get out of here before I pass out at my keyboard. Yes. So Absolutely. thank you everybody. It's been fun to catch up and uh, hang out with you guys. I will be we'll be doing the show tomorrow in some fashion, probably very similar to this. Um, but we will also be uh, back live in the studio Tuesday, next Tuesday, and we will have Marcus Mann of Rise Wrestling with us. Excellent. So very very fun, very gay. Uh, thank you so much everybody for joining us. Thank you Matt and Major Matt and Matt Mike. Matt's of check, of course, of just pro wrestling news.com. So please check that out. That'll be up here mm-hmm. shortly. And uh, well, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. That might be a morning edit, actually. I'm going to the audio booth right now. There he goes. There he goes. All right. We'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.